Hello everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to my Beautiful Nights channel. For this video, I'm going to open up another curated bead box. This is a $20 monthly subscription and I have a coupon code for you to get 35% off your first box. Use code AGERM35. I'm going to put the website where I got this box down there below in the description bar and I'm also going to put the coupon code down there so you can go and get your first box. So let's go ahead and check this box out. The color, the theme for this month is Fall Foliage, and there's the picture, and here are all of the things that are listed in the box, and here are the codes for them in case you want to reorder something, and then there's more information here, it talks about how there will be a little um, findings starter kit in the box in case this is your first time seeing one of these videos, so let's go ahead and open this up. Oh my. And by the way, I keep finding that every time I get the subscription, there's always stuff in this box that I get that I don't see in the picture. So, let's see. Oh boy, I've been needing gold beads. So, I'm working on a bracelet right now, and I need gold metal beads for it. Oh, it opens this way. And I went through my stash, and I have a ridiculous amount of silver metal beads. Like, it's ridiculous how many I have, right? But I went through my gold, because that's the color I need, and I barely have any gold metal beads. It's weird. The thing that I have the, the uh, least of is the thing that I need the most. Alright, so anyways. So these. These are nice. Um, I'm gonna go to the list first though, but let's straighten out oh my oh my gosh, we got seed beads. Those are cool. Okay, so usually let's see they do biggest to small, so I'm going to lay these out. These are cute. These are totally fall colors. Oh I like that one. That looks like a marble. Alright, so, seed beads, this is a smaller strand, man, this pearl, I get this every month in a different color, and this is probably one of my favorite beads in this box, this bumpy pearl right here, it is so cool, the texture on it, I really love it, and that is very gold, okay, there's a gemstone, so those are the smallest round, and then there's seed beads, we got these little charms here, and this finding pack, which I'm going to put this aside because that will do that last, All right? And the list says, 10 millimeter full duo style glass bead, 7 and a half inch string. So these are both 10 millimeter. Um, the second one says that it's 10 millimeter fire agate style glass bead 8 inches. So I'm actually looking for the shorter strand. That would be this one here. So this is 6.5 inch strand and this is the fall duo style glass bead. This is really cool. You know, usually when we get these these uh, crackled glass beads, they, they just have a painting on the outside. But they have like figured out how to dye it first so that the crackle like sucks up dye in the crackle pattern and then they put like a paint over it. Do you see what I'm talking about? You can really see it with that one right there. Which does make it have like a crackled agate look. It's pretty cool. Yeah, just look closely at it. You'll see how the the dye is actually absorbed into the cracks. It's pretty neat. It does look like a gemstone. And then this one here, which I think is kind of strange, you're calling the second one, my uh, clip fell off over here, they're calling this one agate, but this one looks like the crackled agate to me. I just recently did a, t a mala tutorial and I did crackled agate gemstone beads. I'll put a picture of that necklace up now in case you want to go and check that out.
Anyways, these here, this one looks more like fire agate to me, but they're calling this one 10 millimeter fire agate style glass bead, 8 inch string. Yeah, and I really do think that this is the second one because see, this one's longer. So this one really has Halloween vibes to me. Look at that. It's pretty cool. You know, I've made all kinds of beaded things on my YouTube channel, but one thing that I've never tried making is napkin rings. Have you ever gone to Pure One Imports and go to their, like, table setting stuff where they have, like, beaded napkin rings are really cool. They have uh, beaded placemats. There's a lot of neat stuff like that. Okay, so now we are going to the 8mm, and the first one is the gold rustic glass pearl strand this one my favorite this is 16 inches long it is so pretty yeah I really love these pearls the texture the colors they look amazing they have a matte look and then they have a shiny look if that makes sense they're glowy they glow they're really cool so that was the third one and then 8 millimeter earth marble style glass bead, 16 inch. I think it's this one. This really does look like marble, maybe even called it marble in the name. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I really like that marble look right there. And then the next one is 8 millimeter. Wait a second. Oh, here it is. Cornelian Citrine Duo style glass bead, ten and a half. This is Cornelian. This Cornelian Citrine. Maybe this one. Between one of these two. Let's see. The uh, after that one is pale Cornelian style glass bead. They're both the same length. Hmm. I want to say that this is the carnelian citrine one because of the color because of the citrine is a yellow so this one's like that one there where they have dye that went into the cracks of the bead which makes it look like it's crackled agate gemstones it's pretty cool and then this one I'm thinking this one is the 8mm pale carnelian style glass bead, 10 and a half inch string. This is a really pretty color. It is like a neon peach. See, you gotta look at it away from those other beads. But it almost looks like it glows in the dark with that color there. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I think I like this one more than that one. This one's very different. I don't see stuff like that very often. And then the next thing is, we're going to, wait, did I skip one? Had to skip one. Uh, this is an 8 millimeter bead. Alright, so I didn't skip one. This one is further down the list. They put this bigger size strand, this bigger bead size, down the list. And usually they start out all big sizes first and then they go to smaller sizes. So the next thing is 6 millimeter. Sand marble style glass bead. Sand. This? I think I might be missing something. It says there's two 6mm strands. There's a sand marble style glass bead that's 16 inches. And then there is a dark brown round crackle glass bead. This is the brown. Wait a second. Yeah, this is the crackled glass bead. This six millimeter. You can see it is smaller than all the other ones. But I don't see the other one that's listed here. So see right here? The second six millimeter? Dark brown round crackle glass bead. That's this one. But the one above it, the sand marble style glass bead, 
it says that's a 16 inch strand and I don't see that unless I went over the list wrong um, up here there's 16 16 16 16 so there is four 16 inch strands this one's 16 that one's 16 yeah I think I might be missing a strand anyways let's move on to this here see 10 millimeter mixed gemstone bead 7 inch string that's this here it says it's 10 this isn't 10 this is 8 yeah if you compare it to this see it is smaller that's 10 and this is 8 What is this called again? It just says mixed gemstone beads. I kind of want to say that I've seen this before. I don't know if it's mixed. I really like it though because it's very natural looking. This strand. The stone beads. It's very pretty. I like stuff like that. And then the next thing is... 8 millimeter gold brown iron bead. Iron. Approximate 20. That's these. These are pretty. This is the biggest I have ever seen. This this uh, round bead here. Usually I see this in a 6 millimeter being the biggest, but I've never seen it this big. So this bead, by the way, is hollow. In case you didn't know. Like, of course there's a hole in the middle, but the, the inside of the bead is completely empty. I really like making stretchy bracelets with this curated bead box. Because all these beads here have really nice size holes, and I have used these beads to make that one bracelet. It was a macrame project. I'll put it up now in case you didn't see it. I think that these beads here would actually work in that because they have some big holes. So the next thing after these is... 6 neon orange inside color glass seed beads, a one ounce bag. These right here, I have never seen these this color before. See that? They are color lined with orange. Those are cute. I wonder if these would work in that um, pumpkin. I made a beaded pumpkin. Do you guys remember that? I'll go look for the picture and put that up now. And since Halloween is coming, you can go back through my videos over the years. I've done tutorials for holidays and I've done it so much now that I've actually slowed down because it's got to the point where I've made um, beaded pumpkin heads. I've made candy corn earrings spiders all kinds of stuff so I've kind of slowed down doing the holiday stuff because I've done so much of it so these here are really cute um, these are called 40 by 26 millimeter flower bronze metal charm two charms So these, I like how they have this big opening here, and there's a, a loop here, of course, so you could, you're probably going to want to do earrings with these, right, because there's a pair of them. But um, there's a loop here, so you could put an earring finding on it, right? But what you can also do on the back side is put a big, like, 8mm jump ring here, and then put the earring finding through 
this and the jump ring. The, the jump ring will be on the back side. And then you'll, you'll turn it around and you'll have that little jump ring sitting right here. And all you have to do is put some of these beads onto head pins and dangle uh, one bead or a couple beads. I think I would do two beads right in here, like a, a six millimeter and an eight inside. And there you go. Also, these would look really cute with, I have to say, a skull bead inside of them. Because they do have the Halloween colors going on there. And um, it kind of makes me think of Day of the Dead with the flowers. I just dropped my second thing. I dropped one of these earlier. I had to stop and get it. So anyways, that was all of this. I'll go get that other charm when I'm done filming. Let's go to... We did all of that, right? Yeah. And I am wondering if, if maybe I'm not missing a strand and I'm not understanding the list. So that could be what's going on. I don't know. Uh, let's go to this now. I think this is the first time I've gotten gold in this. I usually get... No, wait. I did get gold. I, may, I remember I got gold bead caps. Yeah, so I'm going to move that to the side there and go through this for you guys. So here are gold earring findings. I have so many earring findings like this in my stash. It's, like, disturbing. I feel like I just keep think everybody sends them to me all the time now and I just keep adding to it like this is getting ridiculous I'm gonna have to do something about this I rarely use these and I have a billion of them and so anyways here's gold crimps which I really need these right now I mostly have silver crimps in my stash and these are crimp beads and I've really learned that whenever I use crimp beads it's much better in case you didn't know this this is what I've experienced over the years whenever you get crimp beads it's best to flatten them with chain nose pliers every time I crimp these with my crimping tool I crack them and they open up they break so, but if you just flatten them, they're perfectly fine. So, um, whenever I use my crimping tool, I always use that with crimp tubes. So there's beads and then there's crimp tubes. Alright, so that's just what I've learned. And then we have, um, head pins here. And they look like they're pretty long. Maybe almost two inches long. And we have some really nice size lobster claw clasps here. And then we have six millimeter jump rings. They're thick. I like how thick those jump rings are. Oh, and these, by the way, instead of just using these for your closure, I love using jump rings as spacer beads. They work really great. And you can also connect three of them together, but you have to do it in a certain way that they twist and they roll on each other. I don't know if you've ever seen rings are called rolling rings, but basically it's... um. Like, you could, you'll find, if you put in rolling rings, you'll see them on the internet. But basically, it's three rings that are all connected together, and you wear them, and they just roll and flip around each other. They're all connected. It's really cool, but they have to be connected a certain way in order for that to happen. And then we have elastic cord here, and I love their elastic cord. It's super stretchy, very strong, and it's pretty good quality stuff. And then there is memory wire. I think it's really great that they add this in because of all the beads they have here. It seems like you could always make a memory wire bracelet with this. And bead stringing wire. So there's a lot of stuff here. This is a really great gift for somebody. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And remember, I will leave the link to the website where I got this subscription box. And I'll also put the coupon code down there below in the description bar. So... This is it. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please like this video, leave me a comment, subscribe if you want to see more of my videos, and make sure you click the bell button so that you get notified whenever I upload new videos. And check me out on my social media sites. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. Thanks for watching.